I just want to warn anyone, before you get a chihuahua, this is what happened. It's like having another, a new, small child. They're needy. They're needy. <laughs> this is what you get. You get ridiculousness. get ridiculously spoiled little things that are ridiculous and they're needy. <laughs> ridiculous. No, don't you dare kiss my face. No, no, there's no kiss in the face. Nope. Nope. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to talk a little bit about my seed starting and I need some advice. Uh, I've got a few things started. I've never started cabbages and broccoli indoors before. I've actually never even had any success with them. Um, but I wanted to show you guys what they look like right now and get some advice on what I'm wondering, what I should or shouldn't do, because this is new to me and I'm no expert. So I'm gonna see what you guys think. All right, so we've got cabbages here. Um, over here we have some cabbages as well as broccoli and then in this one over here we have cauliflower now i've been trying to turn them um, because this window gets a fair amount of afternoon sun but you see how i mean i know i've got it i've got a grow light coming but how long the stems are i'm wondering if i should plant replant them and plant them further up I know you can do that with tomato plants. I'm just not sure if I can do that with, um, you know, the cabbages and, and the broccoli and all of that. Um, I wasn't sure if that was okay to do because like some of them are starting to fall over. Like see these two are starting to get tangled. Um, you know, so especially with some of these ones where they kind of came up in a weird spot and there's more than one of them and I can divide them out. Should I replant them and plant them down you know plant them to about here and then let them come up everyone uh you know just somebody give me a shout out and tell me what you think i should do with those up here we have uh marigolds also marigolds here and here and then um let me turn it around a little bit here so i can show you guys what else i have started so far these are my um these are some of the blueberry uh, cuttings. Uh, I have th these ones in soil, and then I have some other ones in water. So we're doing an experiment to see how those are doing. Okay, this looks a little dark, guys. I'm sorry. Um, there, how's that? Hopefully that fixed it a little bit. But I have loofah back here, and then I've got Swiss chard, bunching onions, two different types of marjoram. I have chives. Um, lemon balm, celery, and two little things of celery. So hopefully the celery comes up. I am planning on doing some more. I bought a new seed tray so I can start uh, some more celery and a few other things. And then I'm also going to try starting some bok choy. So uh, I think no matter what I do with this, the light keeps messing it up. Um, this wonderful sunshine that we're getting out there. But I thought that I would ask about my, my brassicas and then just show you guys what else has been started so far. Oh, let me show you the sweet potatoes uh, that are going. All right, so these are all of our different, I have three different types of sweet potatoes that are starting over here. These are the regular ones. I actually just put these in here a couple days ago and they're already, can you see that little white spot there? It's already getting a root coming out. So I should hopefully be getting slips off of these relatively quickly. This one here, is starting to go well you can see it's got some starts coming off as well as these other ones I've got um, this one here actually is probably the best one so far and you can see that it's actually starting to get some leaves on top these are the other blueberry cuttings in PG Nano Farm I did not forget um, but I was really concerned that they wouldn't grow for you so I'm trying to get them started in water and then I can package them and send them off. And so far I'm not seeing any roots or buds coming up on these. So, and, oh wait, yep, this one is, hang on. This one actually is getting 
a green bud. So um, I'm going to give these a little bit and then hopefully, I, I just hate to send them to you and them not, you know, and, and them just be dead, like sending you dead sticks. So I want to try to get these going and then hopefully I can get them out to you. I didn't forget about you. Um, All right. This is day, the start of day five. And it's difficult to tell, but there is actually, looks like we do have some blood vessels in this one. And let's take a look at, oh dear. plug it in all the way, make sure the plug-in's on it. There you go, that's the problem. All right, here, try this one. And this one, aha, hang on. It's not showing up on video very well, but there's actually some blood vessels right in here. So that's two that are positive. Let's try a third one. Number three. Number three. Now this one. Uh, this one may not have taken. I'm not seeing any in this one. Well, it looks like it. All right, this one, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are actually some blood vessel spider in here. So we have three definite positives. One, we're not sure yet. And the fourth one. And then the final one. Okay, you can't. Definitely. Can you guys see that through here? So these are our black turkey eggs. And... We have four that are definitely fertile, mm -hmm. and one that is questionable. I'm not sure that it, it actually developed. And ship out. I don't know what you guys do when there's snow on the ground in March, and it is what? 20 degrees outside? We spread lime on the pasture. That is what we do, because we're crazy. Making some adjustments before we get started. And even in the dark, we're still working.